everyone asks that question, who's Light Child, what's Light Child? Some people will tell you that Light Child is because um, I'm fair skin, or some people will tell you that Light Child is because um, we are a group of people who want to stand out of the crowd. Well, Light Child really um, was born or was birthed from a desire to be different initially from every single other person. So if everyone was doing A, I would want to do B. And I thought, you know what, it would, it would be cool to, to be the one who stands out. And then also from my musical background, when I got into music, I was more like, I would produce tracks like Dark Child and Robin Jenkins World. But I thought, you know, I am not dark. I, I can't call myself Dark Child and I wouldn't want to call someone else's name. So I might as well go with Light Child. So that's how Light Child came. It came out as a fun nickname, but then it's grown up and that's Light Child. But behind Light Child, you have uh, me, which is I Love the Child. Professional and I'm a project manager, qualified project manager, but I'm also a music producer. I produce music, I write music, I direct choirs, I direct bands, um, I arrange different stuff. Um, we also have a studio where we do our own music. I write songs, produce songs, um, arrange songs as well, and record songs. Let's make some Growing up back home in Nigeria, we got the chance to work with some of the um, well-known um, top gospel artists like um, Perrin Percy Paul, Ebenezer Obey, Kingsley E.K. and some of the ones that you probably wouldn't remember, only people in my generation would remember. But coming down to the E.K., folks that I would see from afar on TV have had the privilege of working with them, people like Trinity 5-7, um, Four Corners, um, Sissy Winers, Dunham McClarkin, Never had the chance to work Kirk Franklin, I don't know why, but okay. Um, quite, quite a fair amount, well, um, with the UK guys, Chivel Franklin, yes, a um, very good friend of mine, Moiwa, Aaron T. Aaron, um, and a host of others. Um, it's, it's been almost a good 13, 14 years doing this. That also has now obviously transferred into choir directors because I'm very much involved in home churches. Currently, I um, direct the Festival of Life choir both in, in the UK, both for UK and Scotland and Wales, yeah, uh, which is like a group of about 350 people collectively from most redeemed churches in the UK and that on its own is a chore but it's a, it's, a, it's a real good challenge and it's a good blessing. Let your presence be known. Let your be known. Someone say arise, oh God. Praise medley or the language medley. Um, this this is the longest song on the album. You know when people say they want to do this African praise, I'm not really an African praise person. So I thought we'd do something slightly different, which is just get different songs from different African countries 
and mash them up together, arrange them, and so that you can have a good session of praise, you know, unto God. And there's the song that we used to cue in all the songs, which is um, We must praise him in the African way. So we kind of changed that into praise him in the Ghanaian way, in the South African, in the uh, Swahili way, and Englishman's way. Don't be offended by that. And the American way. So we put all the common songs that we sing together. And if from the praise medley, it's quite long, but trust me, the energy is there from, right, from, from the beginning to the end. And at the end, if you don't get up and start dancing, that's where you start. We must praise her in the African way. We must praise her. Growing up, I've always pictured having a, a massive concert or a concert whereby I had people, musicians, I had um, dancers, I had, you know when you watch all this stuff on, like on TV, like from the you're like, I want to do that one day. So I've always had that at the back of my mind um, to do um, that kind of a project. And I sort of pictured the whole way it would be, you know, had scripts written down. So, like Charles, which a couple of friends of mine who are very good vocalists, plus musicians, we come together, write songs, and then we decide, you know, we. It's not so ever so often you get, uh, what's it called, a concert whereby people come in, they're free, the music is great, the atmosphere is charged. Everyone is free to express themselves in worship. You've got good songs going. You've got songs people know, songs they don't know, and the atmosphere is just start. I, I just wanted to have a, a, a time whereby it feels like there's nothing else to care about, but it's just the music you're worshiping God, basically. So that's how we came up with doing this new album.
So in the group, we've got collectively about 16, 17 odd band members. Everyone is unique in their own way. Sometimes they ask, how did I manage to put everyone together? The first rule of the group is this, if you can't fit in without music, then you probably can't fit in at all. We've got, if I can remember every single person's name, I might offend someone because I might forget. Um, we've got Christina Rihanna, we've got Ruth, we've got Liz, there's Michelle, there's Tosin, who's the youngest, there is um, Priscilla, there's Tayo, there's Chinuke, um, there's myself, and then we've got a bunch of musicians, Farami, Tolu, Steve, um, Joe, and there's Femi, yes, because he plays the guitar as well. And there's David who helps out with the tracks. So that's Light Child. Every single person is unique. Everyone contributes almost equally as each other person will do. But when, when you come into a session of rehearsals with Light Child, for instance, the energy is just mind blowing because you would think that each person is Light Child, uh, which is the Best, best thing about Live Child. Everyone is solely dedicated to what they're doing. They love God, they love music, and um, they just have a heart for worship, really. Um, so that's Live Child. There's not one dull moment. They have a WhatsApp group chat. Your phones will keep buzzing the whole day because there's always something fun to say. Um, as serious as they can be, they can also be very spiritual. This is one of those songs that um, was birthed out of, they say Christians don't write love songs, and I just get tired when they say Christians don't have good love songs. I wanted to write a song which would portray your love, uh, the love between a, you know, a Christian and God, basically. And that's how this Forever Yours came, came up, coming from what he did for us as Christ on the cross to how we live our lives now. So that's how Forever Yours came. happened to me, a wretch, jaded and tainted, I was broken, a irreparably, I was, I was blinded with fear and rejection, and I could not see, there was an aching in my heart, it became my melody, but you see, one thing happened, you see, grace came and healed me like a remedy, and your love loosed all to have just a simple chorus which anyone can sing and a song that will be accepted or that could be played anywhere whether at a wedding in the church or in your car or even in a club so that's how forever yours came um, into being yeah forever yours Fight! 
on this project we had um, a few, well, one or two people come in. Um, it was Aaron T. Aaron. I, I can't really remember my first meeting with Aaron T. Aaron, but I just know that the first time I met him, there was something about him that was different. Um, he wasn't trying to be anything, he was just himself, and I like that. And then the way he ministers as well, because he has this charisma that just carries people along. got this energy, he's quite older than I think, but he jumps off and down the stage more than I would do. I'm, I'm quite younger, so I just thought, you know, this guy's got great voice, he's got great kind of charisma, and um, he seems to know what he's doing, and I'd love to work on a project with him sometime in the future. So I called him up and said, you know what, um, there's this song, because um, I, I love him, there's a song called In Christ Alone, um, I think you'd be the best person to do it. And we, we went through it one time, and I think, God just helped our spirits to click and I remember him coming into the rehearsals and at some point he was just lost for words because he thought mm, these guys are just a bit too much for him in terms of like the energy but I remember that night he came, he carried the song, he led the song and wow, uh, not because he sang it or not because it's on the album but I think that's for me personally that's still the best rendition of In Christ Alone that I've heard because then he could put his own twist in, on it as well and he had his testimony on it. So if, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, this is In Christ Alone by Aaron T. Aaron. Wow, we're coming towards the end of the night now and I can tell you that the road has been, for this project, it's been really, really tight. Um, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong, but God, obviously, it's, it's for God and it has been put back on, on track. We've had different kinds of um, songs, but the atmosphere really, in all honesty, has been amazing. And I could say, you know when people say that they could feel God's presence and you, you're not sure whether God's presence is there. I don't need to say it because everyone could feel like God's presence was there. The worship was awesome. Um, I, I, I can see people's lives being transformed. And it's hard to break worship when you're getting to God's presence because we had to, I'm sorry, we had to stop different songs at certain places, but it's, it's, it's been great. It's been worth it. Will I do it again? Will we do it again a hundred times over again? It's been great. And I'm just really pleased that God would use Light Child the way he, he is and bless us the way he's blessed us. Just gonna sing a song that says I want more. I want more of you, Lord. Please fill my heart. Please fill my heart with more of you, Jesus.
Our mission statement at Light Child is this, it's we create an atmosphere that is suitable for God to move in anything and everywhere we go, whether we're at work, whether we're at church, or even in our homes, we just create an atmosphere that is suitable for God's manifest presence to move through music, through words, through our lifestyle. That's who Light Child is. Lord, I want So at this point, I'm about to get off your screen, but I just want to leave you with this word of encouragement. We have chosen to be part of the light child. Well, we call ourselves the light child. And I, you can also be a light child. You don't have to necessarily be in the band, but in your personal life, whether on your job or your family, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're in school, whether you're married, you can choose to be a light child. And simply a light child is someone who stands out from the world, who stands out from the crowd and pleases God with everything you do because God's light is in them. So if God's light is in you, you are simply a light child. Stand up for the truth, stand up for what's right, stand up for God, and you will find out that God himself will actually honor you. And if you wanted to know how much more you can be part of a light child or be a light child, give it a call. Actually, don't give it a call, right to me, yeah. Don't give it a call, if you yeah. That's actually what we say so you can tweet, you can Instagram, you can Facebook, you can YouTube, you can upload, you can download, you can uplink, you can blogger. Okay. Whatever you want to do, send a smoke signal. That's fine by me, I'll get it. <laughs>